Hello friends, hello internet. Nikki here uh, from London. Uh, another opening set, uh, this time at Hang. Hang will open in two or three weeks. Three stops from Heathrow Airport, so really close, really central to the airport. And this is a special gym because it will be opened and run by some of my really good friends here in London. Jake will be the head setter, Omar and Tom and John Partridge, they will run the gym. And I think the other guys, uh, they will stick around here for sure as well. What are we doing today? I will just talk a little bit with Jake, to Jake, about the gym. We'll show you the gym and I think we will just show you a few of our favorite blocks and I will talk a little bit about the blocks. So, should we do it like this? Enjoy! And we're doing our opening set. That's Omar, that's Jake, that's Tom, that's Joe somewhere, that's JP somewhere. B and JP are coming as well. Come on, Joe. And, uh, what are we doing? There we go. We're testing, testing. We're testing. We're testing. We're absolute bangers, I think. Yeah. You set a three days ago that we're going to test. Yeah. Let's get it. What? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Hey. That's cultural appropriation, dude. It's what? <laughs> <laughs> it's Bullen and Karate, you know? Yeah. That's how's, our, that's I, our beta root setting, Bullen and Karate. How's your set been? How's the opening set been going for you, man? So good. Uh, so far, really good. I lost a lot of skin. Uh, Everything's a bit fresh, eh? Yeah. All these fresh holes, but uh, now we're trying to test, like, what's this wall called? It's called this wall. This wall. So this is... <laughs> <laughs> we're trying... Uh, yeah. Testing some stuff. We're testing some stuff on this wall, and then we, then we are moving over to the no-comp wall, and to the uh, block in the middle. Perfect. Good names. Good names. <laughs> good, So we swapped the crimp for the nipple or this little penny because they wanted to have it a little bit more difficult and uh, it's a, a more like a V6 now. I'm afraid of trying it again so I will just show you how the other guys did it. Same same but different, just a little bit more difficult. Intimidating? Scary? I don't know. These guys told me to put the nipple on. Squeeze it. Go again. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you tell them stuff like this? Because it was it was too easy with the flat rail, you know? And we used to spice it up so, you know, nothing says a spicy like a nipple. What's the... Too dynamic for the camera. He's moving like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> I knew I had to try quite hard. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. I knew I had to just go quick, so I did it. Okay. It's really nice. I don't think we should change it. <laughs> Ooh, my blue red. Uh, first ball I set here when I came on Sunday, and uh, I tried to recreate a little bit like like a like a blow from the blow feeling. Uh, I did the lower part, then I fell, and then I was too scared and too exhausted because I had like a really tiring week. the blue flat hold. 
just do a Tomoa style. It's just the better boulder if you're a little bit smaller. Even tall people have to cut loose. They can reach the side pull beforehand and keep their foot still on, but do it a little bit more spectacular, a little bit more spicy, a little bit more like, imagine the crowd being behind you. Feels really, really good. No time to worry. Await the future. This time tomorrow. A fate and memory. I wanna wake up with us. Purple lapis are red. Probably my favorite boulder. Now one of my favorites so far because I really really like the uh, lapis holes and this red style climb. I set another red here as well, the yellow one. X is crimps uh, and plates and X, I really like the old X and the new X. Uh, you have to move precisely, precise, you have to move well. And there's a throw off move to the last crimp. I hope I can stick it again. Um, both the reds combine what I love about red climb you feel like you're climbing with your whole body all the time you feel epic a little bit like climbing outdoors on a red red climbs are just the best like you can never let go you always have to keep the concentration level high you can crimp hard hip position is important Whew. Easy toe catch. Uh, I'm not really good at toe hooking, but I try to set the easiest toe catch possible, and it is really, really easy. I did it in my Birkenstocks, I did it in my climbing shoes. I could do it all day long. Your hip is really far away from the wall, so you catch it really late, delayed, and it feels like you will not get it. But once you have it, it's done, it's easy, good move, approachable from the start, so everyone can try it. Really big jug for the left hand. Looks good, flat hole cheater. What's not to like? Oh, the green one behind me, uh, set by Tom and Joe. Was supposed to be V6, V7. A lot of toe hooks, a lot of like slapping, sloping around. Really good block. Unfortunately, I couldn't climb it in one go. So I'll just show you Tom climbing it.
this one, the green, has a lot of bizarre and dynamic, uh, tricky movements in just one move. There will be uh, how to set it or how they set this boulder on the bouldering bobat channel. Uh, be sh make sure to check that out. Pretty good. The yellow one behind me, uh, set by Jake, uh, easy introduction foot plant, makes you feel like climbing your own personal World Cup final, even though you're not starting at World Cups, you can do it any time of the day, and it just feels really good. Let me show you. This is such a good move. Crossover! <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> okay, another yellow uh, access climb. I failed miserably. I failed with this one. It was supposed to be a V3 and the first, uh, the original version, you'll see first, was probably a V5-ish and it's supposed to be like an eye catcher. You enter the gym and you're like, oh yeah, that looks good, I want to climb that. So I had to tweak it, I guess like seven times, added some volumes and now it's more like V3. It's still really, really cool to move on those axis X because they are not too grippy and you always have to move really well. Uh, hip position again, it's all about the hips. Nikki, Nikki's yellow is a bit too hard, but uh, thank God the, uh, the macros uh, they go from really good to really bad, so we just move some things around. Jake is still working to get the uh, gym done and finished. Uh, we will end up with pro approximately 90 to 100 climbs in three, no, four different sectors. We have behind me the not the comp wall, then we have this freestanding block in the middle, uh, this huge corner wall and an upstairs area, like a class teaching area, a little bit lower ceiling, but also beautiful borders. Let me show you what I said upstairs. <laughs> So even the teaching area, the class area, has really good selection of holes. It's also super fun. Hang in there, come over here. Just a super lush, deluxe, decadent gym. I love myself some good decadence. Thank you for everyone watching this video. Hope you make it over here to hang. Friends, have a nice opening. I won't be there. See you soon. Nikki out. You should come here because it's not going to be a building site anymore. We spared no expense on the holes and we've used them on every grade so every grade problem has really amazing holes so we got more famous youtubers over here uh what do you think about hang love it love it <laughs> love it too much background noise uh yeah i've never been to a new gym where they put so much like attention into the holes such good jake holes has, jake has done a very good selection that's my very boy <laughs> Still here, I'm freezing cold, and I 